Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, and we're standing outside the bar we bought a while ago. Uh, it's been a slow process getting this one going, but I think we're finally ready to make some progress on it. And we're going to talk about that, what our plans are, and some of the other hurdles we've had to overcome since owning this place. So let's go take a look at it. So this bar we bought, whew, probably six months ago now. It's been a while, maybe even a little longer. Um, we were hoping to get it going much sooner, but just a lot has gone on this last year, as most people know, with coronavirus and yeah, <laughs> a lot. So um, this place was a functioning bar when we bought it, but it had been closed for a while due to coronavirus. And we came in and did do quite a bit of demo work. And then we kind of stopped doing work for a while. <laughs> so what we've been doing lately is just sitting here and waiting. And the reason we did that is one, because bars and restaurants got shut down in Colorado again for a while. Now they're back open again. And during that time, we're in, in an area where people would expect us to be open. And it just causes quite the conundrum of having us open when we're not supposed to be open, the state finding people, taking away liquor licenses, a license that we just got. And we're not in a position where we have to be open. So we decided to just kind of lay low for a while and let things kind of pass before we got started. But now we're ready to get started. And one other thing that happened too is we're getting ready to do all this work and we had a guy ready to go. The city came in and said, oh, you need a building permit to do this. Even though our basic plans are to replace the bar that was here, as you can see, it's no longer here and do really cosmetic work. We weren't planning to do anything too crazy that we thought needed a permit, but the city disagreed with us. In particular, they said, because there's electrical and water in this bar, we had to get a permit. So we applied for the permit, that took a while, finally got that approved, got the town to approve it. So we have our permit now, we can get started and get back to work. So our plan is to fix the holes in the floor. <laughs> it's not good. Um, this building is built in, oh, I think it's the 20s, and we think it's been a bar since the 50s. We think it was a gas station originally, and you can kind of see the old patina here, the old brick that we uncovered. This is all wood paneling before. The old window that we uncovered, that was not there before. The old door was all covered up by wood paneling, so it was really cool to get that uncovered and see that was there. So our plan is just to get as much of this plaster off as we can and just have as much of the old brick on this wall exposed as we can and then kind of probably have booths along this wall. We have a plan for it. Um, we'll probably leave the rest of it pretty similar. Um, we're not going to go crazy with exposing all the brick. Um, you can see right here this used to be big giant windows we think here or even possibly garage doors for the garage. Who knows if it was actually, they had cars in here, just the gas station is pretty small, but you never know. And then over here, we'll just kind of repair these walls and get them fixed up. The ceiling we opened up, it had a really um, low ceiling. You can see where these lights are hanging now with the just disgusting ceiling tiles. So we opened that up and our plan is to either repair and paint this or do something fun like corrugated metal, who knows? We do have an idea for the bar too, which would be kind of like a corrugated metal look with some wood trim maybe. Uh, we're in an area that doesn't need to have a really anything super fancy. So those are our ideas and our, our first real plan here is to really get our um, plumber in here, make sure everything's fixed and repaired because the pipes did freeze earlier this fall. Uh, the heat, which is a brand new furnace, shut off because of a, I forgot why, an electrical issue. And uh, so the building froze. So we do have some leaks in the pipes we need to fix. Get the plumbing sorted out a little better for the bar there. And then uh, we have the, had the electrical checked out and looked at. So hopefully that's good now, but we'll get that double checked as well. And so once those major things are fixed, then we can come back, kind of build our bar, put in flooring, and do the rest of the cosmetic items. So there's still a lot of work to be done. There's still a lot we have to think about, but we're making progress. And hopefully, you know, eventually 
we'll actually have a bar that runs. And we do have someone who wants to like completely manage and run it for us. So that's also excellent news. Um, so that has been a ton of help as well. They've been helping us decide what to do. And some of the other items we've had to figure out too is like, what equipment do we keep? What do we get new? We had a bar plan written up for us with all new equipment. But I mean, there's you know $25,000 of equipment there. And we still have like this keg holder thing. I know all the bar lingo, lingo <laughs> that works. We have the sinks here that still work. We have some of the ice makers that still work. We have some coolers. So we want to get up, get everything going, see what works, see what we need and go from there too. We don't want to just go crazy buying all brand new equipment right away and not thinking about what we actually need and don't need. Um, so that's about all that we have going on right now. Hopefully the next week, maybe less, we'll really start working on this again. And hopefully in a couple months, we'll have a bar that's up and running. Like I said, the liquor license is transferred to us. Our building permit's ready to go. People keep asking us over and over and over again when we're gonna open. Like there's no shortage of people who want us to open. So that's a good thing. Just have to get it going. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate the support, the comments, the likes, all those. Uh, if you have questions or suggestions on this, we'd love to hear it. And we'll have more updates too. Hopefully our next update actually has something done that you can see. Um, I hope so too. But uh, yeah, we'll be back with many more videos on our flips, rentals, being an agent, all that great stuff. And of course, check out investformore.com for much more information on our flips, rentals, being an agent, all that great stuff as well. All right, we'll be back soon.